Hello and welcome back. My name is Andrea Pineos. Today we're going to continue building our Trip Planner application while also learning about Power Apps. This is part three of our Trip Planner application series. We will build our very first model-driven app in this walkthrough. Before we get started with a model-driven app, I am extending our data model and adding three more entities. One including the to-do list entity with a lookup field to our new category entity, and a travelers entity connected to the contact entity. This will help bigger groups coordinate who is going and the ability to assign to-do items to themselves. The bold items in this model are what we are implementing today. Feel free to follow along. So I've gone in and added a to-do list entity and added a category, item name, cost, and quantity field to it. Now we want to edit the status reason options for not started, in progress, and done. In order to do this, we want to travel to the classic UI. So we want to navigate back to Trip Planner, click on the ellipsis, switch to classic. A new window will pop up. This is the classic UI. We want to go to the drop down and go back to the to-do list entity. Click on fields, search for status, reason, double click. This will open up a new window. And we're going to edit these down here. We want this to say first one not started. Add in progress, add, done. This way, anyone who goes in can change the status easily of their to-do list item. The default value we're going to leave as not started. Save and close. We're going to save this and we're going to do the same thing for our travelers entity once we get to the status. But instead of not started in progress and done, we're going to change the status to attending, maybe, and not attending. I'm going to go ahead and create that right now. I've gone in to modify the view for my to-do list and now I am modifying the form. There's something I do want to show you. For this description, we want this line to be a little bit taller. So we're going to click on the description field here. We're going to go to formatting. And we're going to change this field height to maybe four so that the user has more space for it. But I've added all my custom fields here, including owner, so that somebody is always assigned to a to-do item. And you'll see here that the status reason is defaulted to not started. I have created my travelers entity. Note that I use the contact pre-existing entity lookup for my contact field. This is by default an item already added to each entity. So use this contact field so that each user can go in and create a brand new contact that is tied to the traveler's entity. To my traveler's view, I have added contact, status reason, which you have to switch to classic to be able to add this in, and budget. To my traveler's form, I have included contact, budget, and notes. To notes, I've done the same thing with the formatting. I've moved it to a field height of four. For my status reason, I moved it to the header so that it, it is easy to find. Inside the trip entity, I'm creating a many to one traveler's relationship. I'm going to do the same thing for the to-do list. Now it's time to create our very first model-driven app. Inside the Trip Planner solution, we're going to click on New, App, Model Driven App. We'll give it a name. And we're going to select Use Existing Solution. Hit Next. We'll look for a Trip Planner solution. And hit Done. Now it's time to configure our site map. And our site map is going to be the navigation to our model driven app. And this new sub area is where you can connect the entity that we've created, Trip, to our site map. We've selected Trip and Type Entity. 
We can leave the rest as is. If we wanted to, we can edit this and name this a different new group and new area. But we're going to save, publish, save and close. We're going to save in this app designer, publish again, and we're going to hit play. And here is our very first model driven app. As you can see here, we have trips in this new group. This is that site map that we've created. So everything inside trips will be here. Let's go ahead and create our very first trip. We'll name this beach trip. Destination city. We currently don't have a destination city, but because we added a lookup, we can create a new destination city. We'll say Panama City PC. Save and close. Now when we go and search that, it'll come up. From, we'll go to April, April 1st. As you can see, this is a very easy interface to work around. Go ahead and save that trip type. We don't have a trip type yet, so we can go ahead and add trip type, personal, save and clothes, description to get away. Now, we'll save that and you might have noticed that we now have activities, lodging, flights, timeline, and related. So now we can go ahead and add the activities for this trip and everything related to this. That was our subgrid, and these are the forms that we created. So activity name, dinner, restaurant, don't have a location yet, don't have a website yet, but we'll go ahead and just make this up. We'll have an early dinner. Ends about the same day. <laughs> but as you can see here, it's very easy. So we'll save and close. And now that new activity will populate in the subgrid. The same thing goes for lodging. You can add new lodging. You can give this lodging a rating. You can name the lodging, check in, check out, contact all of the information that we've previously added. Same with flight, same concept. And here in the timeline, here is where you can add notes or files. I've gone back and added the to-do list and travelers to our tabs. So now we can continue to add to-do lists and travelers with the status reason up here, going, maybe not going, contact, we can create new contacts here, add a budget and notes. All of this within the same trip. And you can continue to add more and more trips as you go along. And that is how you build your very first model driven app. Here you can accumulate as many trips as you want with as many related entities. Join me in my next video as we continue to build this trip planner application.